Uh, Mehdi, if you, if you don't mind, could you just uh, ease back just a wee bit in your right. chair? Because right. uh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Good man. Uh, right. And now that we've got that over, uh, in terms of the fundamentals... Uh, it's all about framing on television, isn't it? Slowing iPhone right. demand, slowing smartphone demand versus the AI boom. Uh, can you uh, give us your take on how TSMC and the companies under your coverage are positioning? Sure. Yes. I'm actually in my hotel room in San Jose trying to figure out answers to some of those questions. I think there is a big question mark as to what happens to the smartphone demand next year. I don't see much of the innovation. At the same time, the retrofit market is becoming bigger and bigger. Folks in India or other emerging growth countries may want to pay $100 for a 5G phone, and that's where the retrofit market comes in. In terms of the AI, is it still not clear who's actually going to pay for these systems? There's a lot of hype, and I think it's going to take us a couple more quarters to better understand who is going to pay? If I were to guess, I think it, it would be enterprises are actually going to surprise and implement AI solutions faster than uh, hyperscalers. And I think that's going to happen by mid to late second half. So next year, uh, I think um, auto would, uh, or EV is probably going to continue to grow, uh, given increased penetration of EV to the auto. And, and, and AI will hopefully will be a bigger driver by middle of next year. In terms of the price targets and recommendations, uh, you've got a buy rating uh, on a TSMC, Medi, Global Foundries, you've got a positive rating, yes. $82 price target. Just walk us through why exactly you are constructive on both of those names, uh, despite the pressures that they are admittedly still facing. Yes. Well, thanks for reminding me to answer your question. I think TSMC benefits from a race in AI. You have NVIDIA, AMD, and others that are trying to uh, get a slice of AI. And on all of those chips have to go through TSMC. So high-performance compute, HPC, is going to outgrow the other sectors. And I am fully confident that TSMC could grow revenue at double digit and with the margin expansion. I think the margin expansion story is now well understood. That gives me confidence that EPS growth is going to surpass a top line growth with global foundry which is not really directly com competing with uh, uh, tsm they benefit from uh, localization of semiconductor especially for other industry in us they're generating a billion dollar revenue from other industry in 2023 and that's going to outgrow other sectors into 24. they also benefit from uh, increased emphasis on reducing power global foundry has a proprietary technology to use a substrate that helps yes. with a lower power cons consumption, and that makes Global Foundry to stand out. And I think that should Understood. also uh, be able to outgrow next year.